E55 2006 Let's see One second 2005 All right Kilometers 165 165 Okay All right Interior Nice Good looking Beautiful Let's see also Because Mr. Nufi He opened for me back here since I'm here, let's see. Yeah, see all this. This is a sign of flick from the filter. Splendid. The pump looks much more decent than the filter. And here inside of the plug, looks like it's wet. Oh, it's nice and clean inside. Outside, usually it's cracking here. It's all this uh, wet spot and there is another one wet spot here. It looks like uh, nobody touched it here. Let's see from this side. Also here, nobody looks like I touched it. What date has? No, they did. September 1st, 2015. So that means it changed the pumps probably. Need to put the upgrade cables. Uh, looks like it might be. Somebody touched the cables here to overheat or what? Yeah, yeah. I need to come here and have a look on it. If the owner he decides to change the sender unit, the filter, to change this one, obviously you have to open also that side. We're gonna see if it has the new pumps or the old pumps. It depends the connectors. Because I don't know if you can find the filter, the sender unit with the old fittings. We're gonna see about that. All right, moving on. Since we are here, let's go see back the battery whoops Varta battery like I've said before nothing wrong with that I don't know how to read the date it's not been marked somewhere yeah some people they know how to read the date on the aftermarket batteries okay me I'm not bothering because I believe that the original is much better I have the original battery the last eight years, that's why. At least here in this country. Alright. Nice, let's go front. Ah, it's not closing the bottle, the booklet. Ah, whoops. Take it easy. What the f What's going on with that? Why it's so aggressive? Nufu! Did you get a sample from transmission oil and uh, engine oil? You get one sample to see? Right, let's see here. Nice, no any sign. Okay, all right, it is what it is. Now, do we have a pressure inside of the cooling system? No, I can squeeze the upper radiator hose. It should be here. What, what's happening with the clip? It's just not in place. We have a clip here, no fuel. We have a clip for the expansion tank. Put one new one. Don't don't keep that one. Put one to be nice and steady. Coolant, a little bit low, not something crazy, we're looking good. The expansion tank looks a little bit old, looks a little bit burnt here at this point. Yeah. Belts. Nice and soft. Soft outside, a little bit tired, but inside looks nice and soft. Fine. Uh, filters. Stoker filters looks clean. One spark plug they remove the guys. Let's one second to find the spark plug to see how it looks like. Okay, there we go. Nice and clean. It's not been burned. Beautiful. It doesn't look old. You can put it back. Okay. All right. Carefully. Don't hit it. Now we have the pump. It's connected. That's a good sign. I don't see any spark plug on the pump like what they're doing all the time. That's a good one. All right, heater core pipe. All right, connected. Beautiful, splendid, nice. Good stuff. Looks like it's nice and clean and I don't see any problem. I don't see anybody touch it here. The seal, it comes apart from the cover. I believe that nobody touched the cover since day number one. It's gonna be smart to change the seals on the cover. 
and paint it to protect it. But it's up to the owner, it's not up to me. Nice, nice, nice. The stock in their cooler. All the plastic pieces are here, nice and clean. Oh, what do we have here? Most probably there was a small accident here because you see a broken bracket on the headlight and they put something like a foam here. Yeah, yeah. Looks like there was a small accident from this side. This side, it's nice, I didn't see any problem. The alignment headlight to the fender looks okay. This has a crack here. There's a crack, that means being repaired at this point. Let's see the auxiliary battery. Auxiliary battery, oh, let's, let's take the 10 millimeter out to sit down. Meanwhile, since I'm here, let's see the AC filter. All right, it's not that bad. I have seen much worse than this. It's for the owner's health. Now, if he doesn't want to change it, it's up to the owner, like I said, like everything, all the rest. All right, terminals, it's torqued down. All right, what do we have here? I have no clue, they squeeze it too much. Yeah, it's a boss, that's why. It's fine, it's fine. With these batteries, it's come. It's coming a sticker that you're writing the date. And me, usually, I'm putting one sticker on the battery and I'm putting after that one sticker on the service book inside of the glove box. We can see, we need to ask the owner when he changed the auxiliary battery and the main battery also, because after market. And we need to see also the health report if there is any unit under voltage. All right, fine, fine. Nothing to see here. Alternator looks the stock one. It does look like that anybody touched it there before. Nice. Usually it's suffering. All right, a little bit corrosion on the magnesium cover classic. It's a magnesium aluminum zinc, like the intake manifold. All right, now, Mr. Nufu, put the nut back in here. Put the spark plug, I don't want to have the spark plug out. And let's lift it up. I'm going to check the tires. Upper arm looks like it's brand new, they changed it. Amazing, beautiful. Bosses, yeah, looks nice. The balloon looking good. Protection is there. This, it's supposed to have one clip that comes there. But anyhow, nice thread on the tire. Yokohama, beautiful, amazing. The rotation correct. Okay, date for the first week of 2021. Amazing. The brake rotors a little bit tired. It's like potato chips. Brake pads new. So when it comes time to change the brake pads, consider to change also the brake rotors because they have also lip and they have some minor cracks and it's like a potato chips, like I said. Outside looks beautiful. Nice. Let's go back. Uh, by the way, the previous 55, the white one, uh, it was pre-purchased setup. They didn't tell me, they said to me yesterday, I think. They told me yesterday. Okay, back to this one. Rear brake rotors, yeah, they can stay. Brake pads are excellent. Nice, Yokohama. 0421. Alright, rotation mark. Where is the rotation mark? Outside. Here has an outside. Front has a rotation mark. It's fine, it's okay. There is nothing wrong with that. It has a scratch there. And here there is. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. If you're driving the car. Nice. Good. Kohama outside. 0421. Splendid. Brake rotor. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Everyone, brake pads, excellent. Rim looks nice. And front left, driver's side. Nice, nice, nice. It's looking good, it's looking new. Now, ah, that's what I was talking about. There should be one like this with a cable tied here. Or let us say here. To don't hanging on the air. Yeah. That looks okay. Yokohama, perfect, rotation mark, and date, 
Where is the date? Come on, I'm blind or what? Where in hell is when the date? Oh boy. Okay, when we lift it up, I'm gonna see from inside. It might be from inside. It might be from inside, yeah. This one is okay. Break rotor, same. Yeah, same shit like the other one. Yep, yep. Brake parts looking good. All right, let's lift it up now. Nice color, eh? Ah, the sensor is not in place. <laughs> Maybe there is spray again the bumper. Because I see on the fog light there is some paint. Oil cooler looks okay. It's down there, the oil cooler. This is the heat extensor for the supercharger for the intercooler in place in place nice all right let's start from back it's easier brackets oh, this okay okay no problem. okay it's missing this bracket on the rear bumper the other brackets here all right yeah only one bracket is missing drop in the ocean most of them don't have it at all all right no any stupid modification of the exhaust stock nice I'm here to see the bushes differential the cover in place amazing the cover in place inner brake pad splendid the tire from inside looks excellent yeah but the boots are not yeah yeah, all right. There's no, most probably there's no grease inside. Outer, inner axle boot, inner and outer axle boot. So goodbye. It's normal, it's normal. Of the, of the edge of the car, it's fine. It's 2005, we have 2022. Give me a break. What you're expecting? It's okay. Need the axle boots. This is coming apart, it can explode. This one, how it's still running, I don't know. Take a look how it looks like. If I have to guess, this will gonna give up first, and then you'll gonna give up this one. Because the rubber, it, it comes in powder. Again, for the aids, it's missing also the protection boot that nobody gives an F about the protection boot that has outside, here in this country at least. Uh, they're saying that, ah, you know what, all of the cars are running without the protection boot, why should I put it? That's why. <laughs> All right, uh, you're gonna have a long life on the balloon, on the airbag. Then, then, yeah, we have some grease from the boot. All right, it's okay. The neck, tired. Yep, coupler. Uh, yeah, it is tired. It is. It is tired. Yeah, again, if it does have vibrations, it might stay. Transmission mount. Yeah, on the limit. And, uh, it's a little bit more down than it should be. It sits a little bit lower than it should be. It's fine. Uh, you get a sample from transmission oil? Yeah, yeah. All right. Here, we have the cover here. We don't have any leak outside. Now, Mr. Nufi, he opened it here. It looks nice. Fine, splendid, nothing crazy here, what you see, it's okay, it's acceptable. The cover, you can see the seal on the cover that's wet up there. Again, it's normal, if it's from 2005, it's excellent, that survived so long. Yep, same thing also from this side. Beautiful, nice and clean car, they have replaced the front. Shock absorbers, all right. Inner brake pad, upper and lower, it looks okay. Oop. Hi there. I have to come back again here to see. Yeah, one thump and two turns. One thump and two and a half, I'll call it. Yeah, it's fine. So the date on this tire, there's some mark. 
If it's not outside, it's gonna be inside, right? Yeah, there you go. 4121. Splendid. Excellent. Rim. Perfect. Looking good, looking good. This rim. Looking amazing. Beautiful. Take a look how a little bit weight. Nice. That's that's beautiful. That's excellent. It's a little bit tight here, has one minor leak. Ends and mounts. It's not the time. You can get away with this. You can get away with this. It's not... Uh, this car definitely has not been driven hard. This driving normal inside the city, it's not doesn't have a hard pulls. The, here, uh, temperature sensor, ambient temperature sensor. There is a specific point for that. Why that? Why always in the air? Put it in place. You don't like it? Will you sense anything? No, most probably no. But there is a position, right? Shit, one second. To use both hands, I don't want to remove the uh, grill from here. Just a second. To insert inside. All right. Ah, much better when it's in place, right? Where it's supposed to be. Yay. Nice suspension here for the pump. Look, it looks okay. Air pump here, okay. The oil cooler, beautiful. I don't see something bent, original brackets. Perfect. Radiator fan. No movement. Radiator, not any wet spot or something. Splendid. The second oil cooler with a fan inside. Looks okay. Pump. We are looking one very nice and clean car. And if most probably came here for just service. Except if he's complaining for something. Now, let me see if there is a play on the tie rod. Since I have Mr. Nufu here. Mr. Nufu may a little bit more down. I see some signs that somebody touched the steering like before. It's a little bit more shiny. Okay, it is what it is. Uh, make a little bit more down. I want from you to move more, uh, the wheel left and right, up and down, and then we're gonna bring the crowbar to check the bushes and the bolt joint. No, all this is coming from the uh, steering rack. Make it again. Yeah, big time. One, one second, one second. Make it again. And the tie rod end. Tie rod end. Clearly, you can see the tie rod end and from the driver's side. Come, come from the driver's side and do it again because I can squeeze and I can feel the. Yeah, this is the the axle of the the shaft of the steering rack. It moves up and down, so I need to be repaired. The steering rack need to the bushes for the steering rack because there are four bushes. Uh, and if you want advice, tie rod with tie rod end complete from both sides because this one already makes some movement yeah yeah this is if, if you fix this one after a month you can have a problem with this one so better do it once make wheel alignment and forget it usually you're doing it pairs you're not doing only one all right so splendid let me grab the grow bar to check the bushes they are not suffering, the AMG bushes, that's solid, it's like that. They don't have any problem at all. And they don't even have a crack to check what. They don't have even a single crack. I'll go get the crowbar, just in case, just in case. Stabilizer bar bushes, looks okay. It might, what it can happen with the bushes, when they come dry and they are old one, it might have a squeaking sound, yeah. But usually, they don't have a movement, it doesn't have a play, let us say. All right, it's one very nice, good, healthy, excellent, amazing car. With, uh, with brakes, with suspensions, okay, the rear airbags are suffering a little bit. The, new, the front one are new. Transmission is not leaking. The bushes are here for the shifter. Yeah, both of them are in place. Nice. Give me, give me the oil, the sample that you get from the transmission. Yeah. Very high. You put it in a black cup. 
Oh yeah, let's make a mess here. That's our mission. Yeah. Nice. Looking good. Let me taste it. Mmm. <laughs> nice. This engine, oh? Yeah, oh boy. Okay. Mostly he came for oil service here. Let's destroy the floor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. It doesn't taste good. I prefer the transmission oil. We need to ask the owner when and if he changes differential oil. The breather rabbits are excellent. The silks are not leaking. Can you stop one minute, please? Wait. All right. We need to ask the owner because it has 160,000 kilometers. If he ever changes the uh, differential oil, the boots, obviously. All right. The airbags bag. Uh, it might explode and I'm gonna destroy my finger. Yay. It's optional. Everything is optional. All right. Maybe the owner will can say, "I ah, don't want to change anything." All right. Just I'm saying that again and again and again. To don't think that I'm pushing anybody. I'm not pushing anyone. I'm just saying. Uh, outer and inner axle boot, left and right. Differential oil? Question mark. We need to ask the owner if he ever changed it. Uh, drives a rubber coupler. If he wants to change it, it's tired. It's a rubber. All right. Uh, transmission mount. It's very easy to change it. The front coupler. Yeah. Yes. Has a cracks. Okay. Optional, optional. Engine mounts, it's not the time right now. It's okay, it sits okay. The engine, the transmission mount, if you do the coupler, we're gonna do it one at a time. Also, the transmission mount because there's no label, it's only the part. It's near. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Uh, then, we are fine from back. Yes, we are fine from back. Front, steering rack, steering rack bushes, tie rod end, and the inner tie rod. Both sides, left and right, and after that, wheel alignment. The boots also are gonna be nice to change it at once, one time, to finish the story. Let me get the crowbar to have a look on it here and... Nah, I'm not gonna have any problem with the bearings. And I need to run also another one, test, the test what I'm running. Yeah, the oil cooler fan, the, this is a classic, I'm not putting on the video, doesn't matter. Uh, I just wanna see that the oil cooler fan is working. Sometimes they're not working, I'm just saying, this is 11.04. The date, all right. The uh, pump that it's working fine, you can activate through the diagnostic stuff like that. This is some tests that's running, except the, without the camera because it's it is what it is, it's routine. All right, okay. Screw it, I'll gonna put on the camera. I'll gonna put on the camera, no worries. Let's, I, I don't remember. Definitely, I have put this on the camera before the actuation of the oil cooler fan and the coolant pump, but. It's very nice and clean car, let's do it. Here are the chains, the, most probably the chains also the condenser. I see the paint here, this is not coming like that from the factory. Most probably there was a light accident front and it might hit the condenser. Nothing, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong since everything is in place and it's properly installed. It's amazing, it's excellent. Nothing to say, the brackets, the nuts. Yeah, we have some corrosion here on the fittings. Yay. Splendid. All right. Yeah, yeah, we have the cooler from there. Inside the radiator. Classic. All right. Uh, yes, I need the crowbar. Yes, Mr. Nufu. Thank you very much. Give me a second. See you in a second for you. Five minutes for me. All right, let's activate also the fan. Uh, F3 on. Nice. It spins nice without any sound. Amazing. That's a good one. I just don't want to point it because down there it's the wind. Health report. Some faults are stored. Some other it's not something important. Stored, 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 stored. All right, the supply voltage has been cut off of the vehicle power supply control module, stored and current. All right. So consumer set off stage one. This has to do with electricity. Okay, now, the customer complained, I just now read the, um, uh, the job card that has the vibrations. Let me read that again. Whoops, sorry, sorry. Sorry, Mr. Novo. Thank you. Thank you, man. Uh, 3000 RPMs, there is a vibration, engine mounts, check on engine mounts, 
the customer is the third owner. Uh -huh. That's the third owner. Okay. Like I said, like I'm saying all the time, it sits a little bit more low, the engine. It doesn't float. Barely floats. Usually when you're moving like that, you see that makes like a wave. And this had supposed to be because hydraulic the, the mounts. Now, if you want to be nice and smooth, <laughs> obviously engine mounts, transmission mount, the two drives are rubber couplers and the axle boots back to don't explode the uh, CV joint. Now, to be even more safe, steering rack repair or replace, tie rod and tie rod complete left and right with the boots, wheel alignment and everybody happy. Uh, the covers, that's service, engine oil looks a little bit disaster, expansion tank to don't explode later on. It's a hot country here and you can see that it's, it's burnt. Nothing new here. Let's try the job card. Wiper plates looks like it's a new one. Beautiful. Question mark on the batteries, like I said. There's no problem if you want to put a Bosch battery or a Varta or something. It's okay with me. It's just me I'm preferring the original batteries. That's it. Because they're lasting longer. I have seen that I have seen battery seven, eight years. I have seen even battery nine years, original battery. So, yeah, another thing, another thing. What did I spot? I spot this one. The saw grill. It's been replaced, and the, definitely there was one small accident, front, but nothing major. It's acceptable. I don't think so that it went full inside. I see. You see also the breather here from the supercharger. You see some oil came out. It's good thing to change also the supercharger oil at this mileage. Some people they are not changing it because they are saying that's lifetime. Again, I'm suggesting, all right, because there are some people they are saying, ah, you know what? No, no need to change it. All right, you put back again the spark plug, Mr. Nufa. All right, fine. You know what? Can we start the car? Yes, we can start the car. Fire up the car. Start it. <clears throat> Start just to hit it. Headlight here, you can just not change. Okay, you're not gonna change all the headlights. Obviously, because you're gonna be much more clean than the other one, you have to change also the other one. But you can fix a little bit epoxy, let us say, on that. It's just on the bracket. Yes, please, Mr. Nufu. Nice and smooth. There was a difficulty on starting. Can you can you turn it off again? Light, air condition, everything's off, right? Yeah, okay. Try to start again. I want to hear it again. Nah. Mm, okay. All right. All right. Put the battery charger just in case. Until they told us what they want to do on the car, since sitting here inside. Put the battery charger to see how many amperes suck in the battery. Uh, turn it off, shut it down. <clears throat> Let's charge the battery, the rear one. We're going to charge also the auxiliary battery. Uh, we have a different uh, charger for that. Uh, that's it, that's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Thank you very much. The boot lid is opening like a catapult, you know, like you're going to throw it away. But they did, they did something on the springs. <clears throat> they put the springs on the position. On the last position or what? We can ask the owner if he wants to to don't be so violent. I mean, shit. No, maybe. Oh boy! If you don't know that, you're gonna hit in the face, and then you're gonna lose lose a teeth. What's that? Water? How in hell it went water inside on a Mercedes? There is a number plate, I don't want to... Yep, yep. Alright. Clean, clean, clean. Let's charge it. Alright, then they are torqued down. Yeah, they are, top down. 
Just don't give any headache in all these stupid things. Just in case. Sometimes it's something easy, maybe it's not being torn down one terminal and you're gonna have a headache. Yes. Yeah, fine. That's it. Standing by to see if they want to do something. Or if it's a pre purchased setup. Now they, say, they told me that it's the third owner. Yeah, all right. You brought the battery charger? Ah, you have it here. Nice, nice, nice. Let, let's connect it one second to see how much, how many amperes are shaking. All right, I just now start the battery charger. It says that 35%, 36%, shaking 19 amperes. It does look like it's tired, the battery. Leave it all night, leave it all night to get charged. Why not? It's not bad, right? It's not costing anything. Nice thing that has also the spare tire, has also the pump, has everything inside. Splendid, beautiful. Yeah, that's it, over and out. Thank you very much.